For years, Robert Willie Picton picked up prostitutes from Vancouver's downtown east side and took them to his pig farm. He promised them drugs, alcohol, and money, all in exchange for sex. But during sex, he'd become violent. He would usually accuse them of stealing something from him, uh, stealing money from his wallet, something like that, and use that as an excuse to work up a rage against them, and then he'd attack them. He typically uh, bound his victims or handcuffed them and uh, strangled some victims, either with wire or with a belt. Evidence in trial testimony suggests that Picton then dragged his victims' bodies to a slaughterhouse. There, he took each woman apart with the precision of a highly experienced butcher. The killing, the dismembering, it was just a process he really enjoyed. Any remains that Picton didn't bury or feed to his pigs, Picton may have loaded into barrels and taken to West Coast Reduction, an animal waste rendering facility on the edge of downtown. The rendering plant would take the materials and turn them into other products, some household products, some cosmetics, lipsticks, different things like that. Picton continued to kill and dispose of bodies for years without the Canadian authorities noticing. Nobody wanted to believe that there was a serial killer in Vancouver. Because these women were perceived as women who were living in the most dangerous part of town, there was uh, a kind of acceptance. There were never any bodies. And police don't like to investigate any case where there isn't a body. But by 2001, the number of missing women was too great for the police to ignore. There were 65 missing women that couldn't be accounted for. In April, the Missing Women Task Force was established to combat the situation directly. Almost a year later, thanks to a tip from a man who drove trucks for the Pictons, they nabbed their killer and a horrific crime scene. There was DNA all over the farm, body parts in the form of bones and teeth and partial jaw bones. The skulls were bisected with a reciprocating saw, which he used um, in his slaughterhouse on the pigs. In February 2002, Vancouver police arrested Picton on two charges of murder. By 2007, after a lengthy investigation and a complicated pretrial hearing, Picton stood trial for 26 counts of murder. Picton was eventually found guilty on six counts of second-degree murder. He is currently appealing the decision and is yet to be tried for the other 20 counts.